What does Killer Cyrus do? That's an excellent question. Um, I don't remember if that's the one, uh, Commerce. Uh, that's the one where all units receive plus 5 combat strength when attacking wounded units. And when they eliminate a unit, they heal up to 50 HP. Like, I played... I don't think I've ever recorded a game as Scythia, uh, but my first uh, deity win was as her, and it just... It was a joke. It was a joke. You just, like, run over everyone, and you're unstoppable. Um, we're gonna have to be very, very careful about not letting her units kill one of mine and then heal up. Although it's gonna be hard, because we don't actually have uh, the armies. So the problem is that our normal strategy in a situation like this, of using the fact that we are much better at managing attrition than the AI to win, uh, may not apply, because it's possible that she's gonna be able to keep snowballing through. Which is a little bit scary, but we'll see how that goes. What difficulty is game? We are playing on deity mode over here. You can always do exclamation what game in the chat to get a bunch more information about uh, all the settings. So we are in full on deity mode over here. We have killed one of the deity AIs, but uh, the problem is the insane military strength of, of Thomas over here. But we've got some walls up here, which is good. Um... I think we can probably go to the next turn. Oh, right, we're going to check things. Siege tactics, we're currently researching. Um, I don't know if we'll end up building forts. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. It actually wouldn't be bad to have them up over here. Uh, we could consider Renaissance walls. Maybe, like, right up here. That's something to consider. Uh, but mostly, it's just a question of, I think it's leading us to tech that we're going for. Um, I mean, we had the boost already. And it does give us the option to go to military science, maybe for cavalry. Um, and, I mean, it's... I don't know. There's a lot of good stuff. We're going to figure it out. But I think it was perfectly fine to grab and we had the discount. Now, looking at the Civic Street, this is the one that's quite important. We are beelining, well, currently towards the Enlightenment. Um, but our real goal here is going to be nationalism to be able to build cores. Uh, almost certainly so. We're going to be doing something in this order. We're just hard researching humanism right now because we're not in any position to earn a great artist. Uh, let's take a look at our government currently. We've got veterancy because there's a good chance we actually are going to build an encampment up on the border of, uh, of where Thomas is. Uh, we need conscription to not waste too much money. Bastions is going to help us keep our cities a lot stronger. We do have a turbo campus still going on uh, over here with the five mountain adjacency. So the increased adjacency bonus is still really valuable to us. Merchant Confederation is giving us some more money. And then we've got serfdom here. Uh, we are actually trying to build a handful of uh, builders. We have some amount of money, although I think I'm going to save it for emergencies over here rather than buy another builder, although normally it would be quite appealing. Um, so that's that's that for the government tab. Religion doesn't really matter for us. We do not have enough faith to buy anything at this time. Um, our rates for different things are still pretty good. I think we just got a great scientist. 12.1. Um, so we're still getting more points per turn than anyone else. Our next one's going to be in 70, which actually, if nothing changes currently, we will get the next great scientist as well, especially if we continue to stockpile faith. So we'll see how that goes, because it would be nice to be able to keep doing that. We'll see how it goes. I think that's caught up. Great works. They're here. Yeah, I guess we could move um, the relic to one of our temples over here, just to keep, because this is a wild card that can fit anything in Calgary. I think that's going to be that. Um, just before we start actually playing, I do want to note that this weekend is Ludum Dare. Starting at Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, we will be making a game in 48 hours and live stream the whole thing. If you haven't seen it before, it's incredible. It's fun. The chat is amazing. So 48 hours to make a computer game, uh, basically from scratch. Uh, it's going to be my 17th time doing it. Really looking forward to doing it again. So we'll see you there. All right. Next turn. I think so. Let's go. Next turn. Oh, we did get some tips in before the stream started. So should you address those? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. The first one that came in was from Zodiac. Hey, thank you very much, Zodiac. Huh. He's denouncing me. I did take, like, all his cities, so I, I sort of get that. Uh, first, Zodiac says, put this towards your birthday and your anniversary with Essential. Thank you very much. It is my birthday in uh, about a week and a half, and after that, a couple weeks after that, is my 20th anniversary with Essentia. We're going to be taking a little bit of a trip together, um, so thank you very much for that. That's going to help. Terji, thank you very much for dropping another tip at the start of the stream here. Having Have discovered that having a vacation without going anywhere is just plain boring. Darn labor party for forcing me to do five weeks vacation in a year. Oh, poor you. Oh, four, five weeks vacation. Uh, that's crazy. And somewhere, like, Americans are like, what? Five weeks? That's crazy. Actually, even most Canadians don't get five weeks vacation. That's incredible. 
Mirletalis. Mirletalis. Thank you very much for the tip. Uh, do we get to see anyone do puzzles? Well, of course, uh, we do like to force people to do Sudoku puzzles when we're playing uh, uh, Japan in, uh, in EU4, but I don't know if that's going to happen here today. We'll see. We'll try to do what we can. And Sequoia, thank you very much for another tip as well. Hey, hi, love watching you stream. Make Scythea do puzzles. All right. We'll try to do what we can. Um, really, like, I guess nuclear bombs would be the ultimate puzzles, wouldn't they? All right, Jessica has just finished uh, one of our bombards, which is excellent. It is on the front. We don't have the next level walls yet. Um, housing is actually we've got some space. We don't have to rush out grand or anything like that. There is something to be said about continuing to build more, um, more military units so that we can win the war. But I'm really concerned that, like, if we just built military, we might win the next war, but not necessarily win the game. So that's why I'm still interested in building some builders. Which I'm going to do here. Fred Anster actually just finished a Caravel, which I'm very excited about. Because we still have a Settler hiding somewhere, right over here. Um, maybe I'll go and move him to the coast. That we that Sumeria gives it to us um, uh, during the war. So we're really looking to find more territory. We've actually got a goody hut here. romances bloom in the midst of a good siege. Oh! What? Wait. Didn't we already have the boost to siege tactics? I don't know, but something happened. All right, that's fine. No problems. Uh, Orca Commander. Okay, Orca Commander is the city that's right on the front. And now that we have the ability to build Renaissance walls, I think it's actually worth doing that. Because if there's going to be much extended fighting, it is going to be here. It's possible here. We could switch Jessica out to build oof, the bigger walls. Uh, but that's not really where the, the bulk of the units are. So I think we're just going to focus on that. Holy cow! That's Frosted Mantis, who I remember seeing in the chat earlier, with a very, 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 very generous tip. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Frosted Mantis. Finally have the money to show some support for five plus years of entertainment, even if I have to catch some streams at 4 a.m. Oh, no, are you in Australia or something? 4 a.m. is really, really late slash early. Well, thank you for, very much for that. And of course, thank you very much for your five plus years of support by watching. I just, you know, just watching is just amazing, but... Wow, thank you so much. That really does make a big freaking difference uh, to, to things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whew. Um, where are we? Scientific theory. Okay, we, 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 as soon as we get the Enlightenment Civic, that should finish, which is going to be okay. Um, there's a good chance we're actually going to kill a unit with a musketman soon. Although it might be nice to get frigate early. I don't know. There's not that many Scythian cities on the coast, and that's the, kind of the priority right now. Um, I think we're going to hard research military science. Unlocking the academy is going to be quite nice because this is the building that lets you build cores and armies faster once you unlock those. And it gives more production to our cities with encampment, so that's probably going to be okay. You're going to fortify up over there. You are, I guess, going to hook up more silk. That seems rather fair. Um, there's some more silk over here. We might be able to do a little bit of trading if we do that. I think the other thing I was going to do over here is set up a bit of a farming triangle, if I recall, um, was the idea, which is why I built that farm. Maybe I'll just go ahead and build the farm now rather than get the extra silk because I'm here. Still want to build more of the uh, paradises, but I think we decided to build a farming triangle over here to get some, some nice adjacency bonus and buffs and things like that. Uh, this builder over here... I think we also were going to set up her farming triangle, but we're missing this tile right now. I think I'm going to go... Jessica is actually going to have a decent amount of food now. I think I'm going to build some lumber mills over here and boost our production uh, quite a bit. Uh, Jelly Rolls, thank you very much for the tip. Hello from Northern Michigan. I've been lurking here and on your YouTube channel for about two years now. And I have to say, YouTubers like you and Roomba have made me love strategy games again. That that makes me really happy to hear. I like it. You know, these there's so many great games out there. And more people need to play more of them. So that does really make me very happy. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to leave this Bombard here or not. I mean, Bombard can shoot units. And, you know, it might be able to shoot some units that come over here. But, of course, one of the big bonuses they get is to City Bombardment. So I think I'm actually going to bring you over to the front. The problem is, well, it's actually not that long of a path, surprisingly, because of the roads and whatnot. So I think I will go ahead and start moving toward to the front, and it would be nice if we could make you into cores once you get there. We'll see if we can do it. Um, Faded Magus, Magus, 
Faded Mages. Thank you very much for the tip as well. Hey, Quill. Love the stream. Wanted some advice. I'm struggling to gain steam on my first uh, Immortal game in any Civ game. What tips would you recommend for a noob who wants Alexander's head on a spike? I don't know. Like, the big thing you have to remember is, uh, especially, like, in the one unit per tile game, Civ 5 and Civ 6, there's just no way that the AI will ever be able to match your human brain in tactics. And so, to gain an advantage, you gain it through warfare. Um, that's your ultimate catch-up mechanism. So, it is definitely recommended that you bring the pain to them. I don't know why we're here. It's not a really good place to build a farm. We might be able to building a paradise here. I suspect that's exactly what we want to do. Adjacent to our city center so it'll get a bigger buff. Yeah, it's going to be quite nice. We're actually not lagging as far behind in culture as we normally are at this point. Often at this point in the game, I've got like half as much culture per turn of science. And it's not quite that bad. And, it's, and our science per turn is actually pretty goddamn good. Consider the fact, remember, the AI gets a 40% boost to their science output. And we are equal to them. Which means our true science output is actually a lot higher, but they've got the catch-up mechanism, which is great. Um, and so clearly our science is good, and since our culture is relatively close to our science, I think our rates in both are pretty decent. Of course, the AI's gotten started off with some freebies, and because, especially because they start with the extra civics, uh, they unlock a lot of the things to give them more science early, so they tend to be more than four techs ahead um, by the time you get to this mid-game. But then after that, you can sort of equalize, so we'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One problem strategy games are is that they take too long. Or, yeah, they do take a lot of time. They do take a lot of time, but it's worthwhile time investment, you know? It's a worthwhile time investment. Still a little surprised she hasn't declared war yet. But every turn she doesn't declare war, we get more powerful. At this point, and normally it's the other way around. Normally, you want you need to declare war because um, that's your catch-up mechanism. But right now, we've done enough damage that we can actually catch up more, mostly by finishing, um, uh, actually developing our land. We got a lot of land, but it wasn't really developed, so we're working on that now. I love how the settler's still just hanging out here. This poor Sumerian settler has no idea what to do. Uh, so we're going to go here, and we're looking for some coast. That's very interesting, because again, we have that settler. Um, I'm going to get you to come down here, bud. Uh, looks like we may have to move a unit over there. It's a little bit risky. There's a chance uh, Rebenslar might be hammered. You know what? Maybe what I'll do is I'll move this musket over here. Jezegai is a little bit more defended because of the territory. You are going to make your way to this other continent. Clear this out. This builder, you've got the paradise. We're going to go ahead and mine up this tile. <laughs> I want a pacifist anti game. Not yet. We've done some pretty good uh, pacifist games um, in the past, but not at deity. Okay, here's another denouncement. Different governments. Okay, I'm actually surprised that's what the denouncement is for. But I'm not going to complain too much. The four characteristics of human. Alright, so yes, yeah, so we had hard researched humanism, which is fine. Um, we could get great artist points, no. I mean, we're not getting our extra great scientist points here, but we need the serfdom, so I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. So we are going to go ahead and mine here for some production. And. We're going to need more farms over here. Um, Zemphino's currently mostly housing cap, but farms will help to alleviate that as well. So it's actually not a bad idea to go and get those. On the other hand, there's a lot of tile improvements that could be done up north, right on the front. I mean, those are the things that are also most likely to be pillaged. But we could also do a lot of jungle clearing. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do, because these are hill tiles, so we can clear the jungle for a food and production boost, and then build a mine there, and I'll be quite pleased with that. Jessica, you are not anywhere close to your housing cap. Um, this is rainforest, so there's no reason to keep that around. So I think what I'm going to do is chop the rainforest and then build a paradise. So I'm going to head south here. Goody hut, okay. Um, so you are going to start making your way across the sea. I just don't know where you're going to end up yet, Mr. Settler. Yeah, 
We might need some more settlers over there. Now, there's always a stage in the game where I sort of kind of stop expanding because, because of the way that the district cost scales so much. Late game cities really are not worthwhile. I would like to see um, maybe more buffs to late game cities. Like with every era, your your city, like with your settler, it starts at like plus one pop or something like that. That might make it a little bit more worthwhile. There we go. A couple more builders over here. Very nice. Uh, so we don't have any walls at all in Silver Matty, but it's so far from the front. I mean, other than Samaria, and even then, um, we've you know we're gonna get the the thing to get built-in walls relatively soon before Samaria is an issue. So that's okay. Um, we do have a citadel here, or not a citadel, an encampment, um, which incentivizes I think maybe building units over here. So I think that's what we're gonna do. In particular, what we're looking for to do, what we're looking forward to doing is building um, cores out of our field cannons. So we want some, like, level zero field cannons to merge with the higher level ones. So I think this unit here is going to, or this city here is going to start building that. It's not super fast, but it should be okay. I could do production focus, but I don't think so. So we'll slowly build it over here, and I think that's still going to be kind of relevant. Um, Eden Stargazer, you're a little closer to the front, and units might come down here. I think it actually does make sense to build Renaissance walls over here. Just to get stronger bombard going on. Um, but we are going to go ahead. And especially, yeah, we want to do some chops to accelerate things over there. Um, some chops down here. Mm, I'm not sure. So you're not at your housing cap. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start by chopping the rainforest here. Because the rainforest tiles aren't really worth that much. Who cares about the rainforest? So we chop, get production and food to Maddie, to Silver Matty. Um, and that's going to be swell. Same thing here. We're going to clear you. There we go. Get some growth. Get a production boost. Uh, this settler is going to want to escape the Quadrim if it can. Some way. Although, or setter. I mean scout. Um, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and send this unit back up north here. It might get bombarded, but that's not going to be a problem. We'll get you the, the Caravel to get rid of the Quadrim. <laughs> I love it when Brussels bot comes in with the Petra comments. Some lines are too spammy. Some things don't come up enough. The Petra ones are like just right. Uh, okay, so yes, you are going to move to somewhere on this island. Just, just keep it coming. That's going to be okay. These might be separate islands. I'm not sure. Are we good? We still have a lot of money, um, and we don't really have upgrades, but the idea is like emergency funds somewhere for maybe a unit or something like that. There's something to be said about next to buying a builder, though. Especially up here, where there's still a lot of chops to be done. Maybe I should just do that. We'd use up a lot. I don't think we've got any upgrades pending. Right? Like, let's take a quick look. I mean, the field cannons don't have an upgrade. These guys don't. We're not about to get one, either. Uh, the pikemen, no. I think Silver Matty, I think I'm going to buy a builder here and go through and just ruin this rainforest. Essentia's not in the chat yet, right? <laughs> Boop. Alright, let's do that. I'm going to kill off Gilgamesh? Um, maybe? I mean, it's kind of inconvenient that he's here, but he's he's been removed from the game. We have his capital if we want to go for a domination victory. That was actually a surprising amount of bombard to my ship. Oh, no, no. I think the graphic was a little bit misleading. Okay, that's actually fine. Although there's more stuff coming down here, and that's actually kind of annoying. Um, the problem is I think I'm going to get bombarded again. Unless I move in here. This guy might attack me. It might not kill me. We might lose our scout, but I don't know if there was a way to escape that. All right, we have a trade route available. Now, I think most of our roads are done in terms of getting around our little empire here. It looks to me that things are basically connected. Uh, we could consider uh, running a trade route from Jezagaya down to um, Sudoku over here to build a little road this way, which might not be a terrible idea. In fact, I think I'm kind of a fan of that. So I'm actually going to transfer... To I think to Sudoku, so we can get the production boost to Caravel, because we need a second Caravel for boosting some damn thing. Do I want to actually build any tile improvements here right now? Um, I don't think we have to rush that. 
Why don't I, though, you know what? Let me go ahead and build a paradise here. Adjacent to this. We could still always build a commercial hub there or something like that if we wanted to. I don't know if that's going to make this tile worth working, though. You know what? Never mind. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to build a lumber mill instead. Quite a bit more production. And then, yeah, you over here are going to come over and you're going to be chopping some rainforest and doing this and that and the other thing. Another plantation. And over here, we are going to build a paradise because it's adjacent to the city, so it's going to get the plus one gold. Bam. It's still, it's a low food tile, so it may not be the greatest, but it's going to be okay. All right, everything's good here. No great people stuff for us to do. Feeling pretty stable. How are we looking? Sophia could be planning something. They've, they've been planning something forever, is the thing. Um, apparently, what they're planning on doing is maybe, like, donating a settler during the war. Like, there's even a builder here. I mean, this has been going on for, like, 20 turns now. I don't know. It's been going on for ages. And actually, before I took these cities, instead it was over here. She definitely wants to attack me. Yeah, okay, that got lost. A lot of ships over here, actually. Poor Scout. It actually would be really handy to still have you. In fact, I may decide to um, to build a couple more Scouts. All right, we're going to come down here and lumber mill that. So this tile is just going to get cleared. Although we're not getting as much food here anymore, because we're at the short of one housing cap. So you're going to run a trade route to Jezagaya. It's not going to be the greatest in terms of what it gives us, but building a road here would be quite nice. I could also build a military engineer, but... Alright, you go bop this guy. Uh, hopefully this settler is safe, but I didn't remember seeing any ships down here. Although, you know, we're not going to move the settler before the, uh, the frickin... Uh, musket gets here, right? I'm actually going to go ahead and send the, the settler back, just for now. Mm -hmm. Send the scout west over the water as well, yeah. Well, and also, we're going to have another ship, another caravel getting built soon, and that one's going to go west. Unless we need more ships over here, but no. There's no way that these ancient ships op uh, destroy mine. So I'm going to do this. I'll take a little bit more damage, but it's going to be okay. Uh, so over here, we're going to chop and mine. And we're going to build some things on these tiles soon. But I think I'll wait until we've got more housing cap in Silver Matty to clear out the, um, the rainforest. So here we're just going to build more lumber mills. Good production. Housing complaints there. That's fine. More builders. Man, at some point we'll move out of the uh, serfdom thing, and then we'll probably grab the uh, great scientist point thing again, but for now we're okay. She hit 2,800. Yeah, almost. Our military strength dropped a little somewhere, somehow. Because I thought we were above 700. No way the scout did that, right? I don't know. Uh, so over here, you are going to clear that reinforced. And here you're going to build a lumber mill. And, okay, now that that's done, we do have a farm here, so building more farms is going to be the way to go. It's probably fine to do that now. Lots of farms, so we're going to build a lot to get a lot of the the farming bonuses. Um, I think I'm going to run away with this ship, actually, and heal it up, which is kind of annoying. But I suppose it can escort the settler. Um, I'm wondering about... Focusing on the south part for the settler. If we built... One, two... Th uh, I guess if we built here... One, two, three. One, two, three. So it wouldn't get this fish, but it would get the marble and four sea resources if I built right here. That seems kind of like the thing to do. All right, over here we've got rainforest on a hill. So yeah, we're gonna clear it. A lot of the food is gonna go to waste because the um, the population, the housing is pretty full, but the production is still a nice boost here. This bombard is gonna chill right here. It's gonna be adjacent to the other one, so it can core up at some point. Enlightenment about to kick in. 